Hello my soul tribe, welcome to my channel. I'm Celeste TT Tarot and this will be Virgo's birthday reading spread. Happy birthday Virgos! If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So I have me a new little location set up um, and I really like it. Um, it's really chill off to the side. You guys are the signs of introspection. Um, a lot of people say isolation, but you're more so very protective. And you're also uh, very intuitive. So I wanted to start off. I usually sing people's birthday songs. But you guys, like, you know, the most famous, um, the diva, the most famous Virgo would be Beyonce. So I have That's Why You're Beautiful. So um, they don't really like to let you play music. But I'm going to play it and I'm going to go ahead and begin your reading. Doing something different here, like getting straight to work. I feel like you guys been working pretty hard because this season I've been working very hard. So we're going to start off with Gaia. Okay. And I am going to shuffle the cards here. So that's why you guys are beautiful. Like, do some soul searching, some introspection. You guys have very beautiful souls and spirits. You are the bearers of all there is to know how to put the work in, um, being consistent, persistent, and building legacies, building connections with people that can take you to higher places. So... I like to do a soul, a soul, a mind, and a body spread, 3D physical spread, and then the overall. So I have it here. I'm trying to put the camera so that you can see it. See the best way to do this. I have the camera facing me in this situation. Um, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Um, I will just... You guys are pretty um, confident here. So I I bet after watching of my other readings, you can trust that I put whatever cards I put or what I put down. At least, um, I don't know. I just like this setup. So I'm going to go with what's comfortable for me. So um, <clears throat> that's how we're going to do that. So... The soul space we have here, Moonlight Goddess, Repressed Emotions, Healing, Reflection, and that is card number two. Let me cover her up. Okay. Okay, so you can look at the image. I'm going to use my other finger on here. So, <clears throat> what the energy I get from this is like High Priestess energy because it's card number two. It's also, um, as you can see here, it's kind of also kind of like a temperance Sagittarius energy. And that's in the soul space. A lot of you guys are coming to one with your soul. So if you have Sagittarius in your chart, dealing with that, or have Pisces in your chart and dealing with that, it's a very intuitive, in tune spirit, open to getting knowledge from um, your higher self and listening to your higher self, introspecting, because the moon is kind of like, this energy of channeling it's like a channeling energy under the moonlight you feel a different vibe and it's just a feeling i don't know how to describe it but i feel like the virgos i'm talking to that resonate with this you guys know so um repressed emotions healing and reflection so that's all you guys energy it's funny that it's coming out in the card number two and then there's an angel in this card so it's like kind of like the different energies of water you guys is a uh, natural energy which is earth and a combination of um <clears throat> fire so it's like the three those are kind of like the three energies that you're embodying body and i would say your energy and your mind space maybe will get some like monetary kind of earthy like um nurturing like energy with you see the earth here and then with these wings here it's kind of like um, fire energy, that Sagittarius energy I was mentioning, but it's also like air energy. So some of you guys could be learning balance. And when we talk about balance, we're coming into Libra season. 
Um, and so, heck, we could already possibly be in Libra season. I'm not really too keen on the dates. I always just be like, oh, the 21st is just a new sign. But um, some of you guys could be ba balancing things out. So that could be fire and air uh, added together. And then that high priestess energy, you see all the blues and the moon as well. Um, so that's some good energy to have in your soul space because... Even though it says repressed emotions, it also says healing and reflection. So a lot of you guys are reflecting on the emotions that you have been suppressing. Okay? And so, um, <clears throat> uh, you and your hand came up when I shuffled my Virgo playlist. So I'm going with, some of you guys are kind of like stepping out. But let's see what the, what this one, amethyst, transformation, certainty, confidence. For card number 41. I'm going to cover this up. Isn't that so beautiful if I chose Gaia? Card number 41. So backwards, that's 14. So I wasn't too off. You see, that's fire energy, Sagittarius energy. You see, you got that wing there. So that's beautiful, balanced energy. Some of you guys are... And I did mention the earth, didn't I? I mentioned the earth in the mental space. And see, there it is right there. There's earth energy right here. That's the pinnacle. Okay? It talks about you discovering different trades possibly uh, uh your own spiritual or soul abundance okay and that's in your mental space so you're thinking about what are things that you could do um there's one that dropped here um uh, maybe this was something that you had put your hopes in before and now you're ready to move forward fly away um and so it talks about transformation which is scorpio energy um confidence so four card number four would be emperor energy. So that's additional fire energy. Stepping into your confidence, discipline, control, motivation, leader. That's our divine masculine card. Um, so my masculine um, Virgos could be thinking of like stepping up, bossing up, um, stepping into your power. Card number uh, one is the magician energy. So that's air energy, Gemini energy. Could be talking about bossing up. Maybe some of you guys are considering... Uh, ideal lover or counterpart or meeting someone or you know who that person is we also have the sun in this card which is leo energy additional fire energy so we have all the elements here air we have fire there and we have the water and the earth energy embodied in the human because we are from the earth and from the from as they say from the dust to the dust we shall return okay so a lot of you guys could be thinking of the future, as I mentioned. You guys are very practical, reliable, um, and um, common sense, definitely. If it doesn't make sense for you guys, then I can't see y'all doing it. Goddess of creation, transformation, creativity, and wholeness. So we have another transformation here. Card number seven, which is... Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I cover it up. Cover it up. Card number seven, which is Cancer energy, more water energy. Transformation talk is more so Scorpio energy as well. So some of you guys could be dealing with any of the signs I mentioned. Or you could have that in your chart. This is Virgo's reading. So in your current 3D space, you're thinking of goals, um, visions, um, drive, and dri being driven towards your passions, how to move forward. Um, cancer energy is very... Um, <clears throat> fast paced it can be very fast paced on the move on the go um but trying to change your life trying to change the outcome of things um embracing your inner truth <clears throat> and the deepness going deep within um so and and releasing and cutting away things that do not serve you it come becoming one with self now overall we have card number 23 and that is night wind facing fear subconscious release and healing so everything just added up all again. So we have card number two, which is the high priestess card, as I mentioned, which is Pisces energy. And card number three, which is the Empress card, um, Taurus energy, as well as Libra energy. So I did mention Libra before. So it talks about balance, um, facing your subconscious, healing, releasing. You see, renewing, restoring. You see that? Shedding old branches, trees, things that don't serve you. So overall, that is what the universe wants you to keep on that path to doing that. So you guys are doing an excellent job. You're releasing a lot of things. And I think during this uh, full moon, as we are in the um, 
ends towards heading towards the end of it and it never really ends because there's that like that after effect um that's good energy this after effect you just need to keep releasing keep on your same path so i am going to pull a clarification because with you guys i just feel like i can just go like y'all get me like one of my besties is a virgo like i get Y'all get me? I get y'all. <laughs> I'm a Kathy son. So, hey, y'all. <laughs> and happy birthday to my bestie. Um, so, yeah. And she's single. So, y'all tend to be out single, independent, doing y'all own thing a lot. Because um, y'all want to be like that person that usually y'all are the generation curse breakers and the helping everyone else learn self-sufficiency and um learn how to do that introspection learn the importance of it because you guys are just so good at it you just do it naturally because it's, it's naturally you guys so um it's not so much about like being alone it's more so about when you are alone learning to love yourself in that energy you're not always going to have people around and so embracing who you authentically are when you're alone those are the times where you truly actually really get to be that way when you get with someone or you're in a relationship then you have to learn to accommodate but when you're truly alone those are the the like the times so i shuffled it so this is going to be mine i'm sorry and i said mine let me shuffle again because i said the wrong thing and i have my incense over there so have my little setup so I'm going to shuffle it again, put my knee up so y'all can see. <laughs> I be doing the most, but it's just because, you know, people be like, what it, what's going on? What are you doing? Um, Uh-oh, there we go. Oh, just going to make sure this stays. Okay. So you can have a lot of distractions going on, so you guys got to be careful of that because that is, you know, it can, earth signs, we can be easily distracted. Let's put it that way. Um, you guys tend to get to the task and be straightforward more so with it than me. Definitely. Um, but, uh, as a happy son, so I don't know. Um, but that's definitely how I am. I'm always like, oh, it's like multiple things going on in my mind at once. So distractions abound, but somehow I'm able to like do manage them multiple things at once. Um, you guys are pretty good at like staying on point with it so like that's how we balance each other out that's how me and my bestie balance i'm like all over the place and i'm like i'm handling multiple things but it's like hey that one thing i asked you like and it's like oh yeah that one thing took care of that and now took care of the other things <laughs> anyway so mine 3d so mine 3d so mine 3d and then this is overall so let's do the overall first seven of wands leo energy talks about standing your ground talks about your moral standards values things you believe in um things that you have uh drawn a line in the sand and these are those things that are not negotiable you're non-negotiables okay so Overall, when it comes to facing your fear and releasing things that don't serve you, you are standing your your ground. You are got the line drawn in the sand. Say, like, you know, I can deal with these other things. I can face these other challenges, and that's what that card is about facing challenges. But I will not allow these certain things. As you can see, this person is like at the door. Like, no. Like, I will allow. I've allowed multiple things, but I that one is a no. Okay. So, um, a lot of you guys may be dealing with that overall. That's what the universe is tasking you with, is not allowing things that violate or go against your authentic moral standards and values, things that you won't allow. So, let's go into your soul space to clarify this moonlight goddess. We have the king of pentacles, the magician, and the four of swords. So, some of you guys, this king of pentacles... If you're a male Virgo, you're in your element, in your soul space. You're bossing up. You're worried about your money. You're uh, building up your kingdom. Um, this is also like the pre-emperor energy card where 
your you see how he's he's surrounded by the nice things enjoying the niceties in life okay like have everything set up uh to where he needs it and um he is ready to go out uh this talks about loyal loyalty stability comfort um somebody who's reliable somebody who has mastered um working hard where hard work pays off that type of mentality is when i think of um earth signs masculine earth signs it's like hard work pays off okay and that hard work in the soul space for a lot of you masculine virgos because this is what i'm seeing is helping you manifest this is gemini's energy and there's that card that uh that we saw the one that's the magician so using all the tools earth fire air and water energy to manifest what it is that you want so you've mastered um when you're in this magician energy you've mastered all the other theoretically it's looking like you're mastering yourself you're coming back to self you're coming home to self because you learned you've been out there in the world you learn how to master kind of all these other embodying all these other energies the the water the air which is for masculines king of one king of uh cups the air king of swords and also the fire king of wands which is like building so as you can see he's already like built it you know and he's already you know contemplated how it all goes together analyzed it structured it together and he's put a lot of love and attention to it and he's getting the fruits of his labor so that's good energy um and feminine energies maybe some of you guys are trying to manifest a masculine like that um okay and then we have the four of swords it does require a period of contemplation rest um this could also indicate healing restoration sleep much needed sleep that that's necessary um it could also end up uh indicate um some of you guys are taking a break when it comes to in your soul space it's a much needed break going on could talk about like your your Maybe on vacation, not working as much because it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, some of you guys could also be contemplating a breakup. Some of you guys could also be contemplating something having to do with incarceration. So if that's the case, that card could represent all of that. That's Libra's energy and, and, you know, it's justice is. The energy you put out is what you get back. So, you know, even if it's good energy that you're putting out, you still have to rest and recuperate equally as if if you were doing bad things and you ended up incarcerated incarceration because of those you have to still rest and recuperate so it's still the same thing on both spectrums that's what we talk about yin and yang it's like on the one hand when you're doing something bad that incarceration is a period where you have to sit reflect and think about what you did contemplate on what you did and that's libra energy one end of the scale the other end of the scale is um when you've done a lot of good things well you still have to rest and recuperate because you can't like you can't keep running 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 and then do quality things so you still have to have a period of rest okay it's important either way okay either way the skills uh turn but you definitely want to be on the good side because after that rest you put the work in you typically enjoy the fruits of your labor and get that elevated energy versus you did something bad and now you're set back like for a lot of things <laughs> so uh your mental space hermit you are in your mental space you're thinking about you and i ain't mad at it okay that is amazing energy to be thinking about yourself bossing up like how you get to the next phase going on your journey lighting your own path and i read the because i'm all study all into studying the text and since you guys are good introspectors i read the um the gospel of mary which is in the book uh the ethiopian orthodox bible and basically it did talk about in the the, the like how you can see visions so this is kind of like a Virgo's energy is also like a visionary energy as you see because he's lighting the torch in the dark and this is masculine and or feminine energy this is not all just you know about a man 
Um, you could be thinking of a Virgo you know that you know and you can tell is in his energy or you could yourself be embodying your own energy. But this is great for you to come out in your own reading, your mental space because the visionary, it talked about you can't see it through the soul. You're not going to see it through the spirit. You're going to see it through the, the, the item that goes between the two of those, which is why I actually in my readings put it between the two of those. That's the mind. And through the mind is where the visions come. So, interesting. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. There's my feminine Virgo. So, y'all thinking of bossing up. Y'all thinking possibly of... Um, <clears throat> these are also my marriage commitment type of cards. So, the King and Queen of Pentacles. With the King in the soul space. Maybe that's somebody you want to match your energy. Match your fly. Um, be on the same page. Elevate with you. So, if that's in the mental space, that's great. My feminine Virgos. Okay, that's the one right before... The um, right before the Empress as well, um, the Queen of Pentacles can be the pre-Empress card as well. Like you're ready, you're prepared, you've mastered everything you need to know, all the lessons, and now you're ready to take, move forward um, and embody that abundance, okay? Be that, that kingdom wife, kingdom woman. And we have the Eight of Cups, walking away from things that doesn't serve you, Pisces energy, so a lot of you guys know it's time for you to walk walk away, go on your journey, go on your introspective journey, protect yourself so that you can boss up. This is excellent energy. Oh my gosh, I love it. Even with this 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 uh these phases with the moon going on. We have a four of cups, okay? Cancer's energy, which is funny because it came right on top of the Cancer that seven goddess of creation card. This talks about um <clears throat> This talks about rejection. It's also a form of introspection. It's it's a form of contemplation. Um, cancers can embody this energy by, hey, you know, all the things I've built, all the things I've done, the people I have in my life that <clears throat> that um, feed into me emotionally and that I feed into. Do I really, really, really want an addition to that? Or, you know, am I fine with things just the way they are? Because the divine is off, obviously offering this other cup. And it's like, hmm, they're thinking about it. Whether or not, you know, that's something that's going to fit into what they already have with these three different cups. Okay? So, as Cancer Energy. So, some of you guys can be dealing with one. Have that in your chart. You could be rejecting somebody. If you're getting rejected by somebody, maybe that's something that's serving your highest good. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So y'all working hard in your 3D space, thinking about how to master your craft so that one day you can retire and enjoy that 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 hard work so it can finally pay off for you. Some of you guys could even be thinking about retirement. Some of you guys could be thinking of finances and how to better uh, adjust finances, master financial literacy. You know, so that like that way when you, you'll have something left over after all the hard work you put in. Um, some of you guys could be contemplating that. Um, if those energies are falling right under the other. So some of you guys could be not doing this energy. And if that's the case, then you're rejecting yourself. Okay. So that's a form of self-rejection. And that's not good energy. You shouldn't be rejecting yourself if you're... If that's your natural embodiment of energy, then how are you rejecting yourself? Um, you have to be able to con clearly contemplate. And you're it's up here rejecting a cup, but really what you're rejecting is pinnacles. Your own hard work, the fruits of your own labor, mastering a plan for your future, okay? It's like the planning mastery card for a future because that's what you guys are about. And then we have the faith. The Hierophant card. So a lot of you guys that could have to do with your religious, spiritual beliefs. Um, you could have some traditions um, in your community. Uh, traditions that you value and that you embody. That is causing, um, that could be causing this kind of type of discord. So if that's the case, and you know, honestly, if someone doesn't believe the same way you believe you stand on your ground you stand your ground you stand on your values but you can't make someone see something the way that you do you just go forward in life and and go out and and continue to work hard and get what it is that you feel like you deserve okay so now we're going to go to the truth okay 
since we already on that i have the truth and the lie okay so i'm gonna shuffle here just breathing straight through so i want to see what's the next song that's gonna play that would have played it was swallow um by jason derulo Nicki minaj and ty dollar sign um and then the next one would have been there you go okay so there you go okay truth versus a lie so y'all gonna take what resonates i'm gonna read both sides okay and then um and we're gonna go from there okay so let's let us see all right soul space mental space 3d space and then overall Okay, if you give me one second, actually, that's my coffee. All right, so, because I usually make my coffee before I start the reading, but I can just hear my verse, like, get to it already, okay? Like, don't be putting us on hold. So, we have the, let's see which one we're going to read for. Let's do the truth. They could care less about you. You are far from their mind. That's the truth for you and your soul space. You know and the lie. They are throwing shade at you and giving you the evil eye. So in your soul space, you know that there's somebody who is possibly rejecting you. And they're happy and content with their decision. Um, but you want to look at it as if it's something malicious. And that they have some type of malicious intent. But your soul knows what's the truth versus a lie you just have to get real with yourself that rejection could be for your protection if they're not on your level and they're not meant for you then that four of swords you need to really contemplate on why it is that you feel like you have to force somebody to be outside of their authentic self to fit into your authentic self you can't do that it's not authentic then it's you trying to um, force something you can't force it Okay, it either flows naturally or doesn't. They're either on the same page or they're not. And then you staying there is you deluding yourself as to who's doing an evil eye at who. Because why are you staying in a situation where they've already told you it's not for them? Or it's not for you? Or you know it's not for you. So let's go to the mental space. Let's do the lie first and then the truth. They are not here to support you but take you down. That is the lie. The truth is... The people around you are generally supportive and good people. Occasional feelings of resentment arise, but nothing serious. Okay, so um, it's looking like the people around you are supportive, and you know that in your mind, but them walking away, or when they walk away, or when they come back, because this Eight of Cups is going towards the Queen of Pentacles, and it's facing towards, and the Queen of Pentacles is in front of a hermit. So... Um, there are supportive people, but there could be a situation where it's building up resentment. So in your mental space, you could be dealing with a cancer. I mean, not a cancer. You could be because I, <clears throat> that was in the, the 3D space. But you could be thinking about a Pisces that you keep going back and forth with and turning your back on, a, on, a, on another Virgo. Okay, that actually matches you. Your soul knows that that's your person, but you keep um, creating this cognitive dissonance. Okay. Because on the other side here, it's like they're not here to support you but to take you down. Okay, so if you feel like you're in the middle of some kind of situation, um, the way to get out of it is the way you got in is to tell the truth. The way you got in, if it wasn't so truthful, obviously because you wouldn't be kind of in this situation, then the way to get out is this, the truth. You, you tell the truth of how you got in and, and the truth will set you free as they say faith okay let's do the truth on this one they are a good person and a protector and that's the truth they pretend to be a good person and a protector but they are only protecting their own and that's the lie okay they are trying to look out for you but they're looking out for you doesn't mean that they're not going to be authentically them they're being authentically them, but you have to accept them for who they are in order for them to accept you for who you are and let bygones be bygones, okay? And then overall, 
Let's do the live first. An internet stalker hates your guts, but what the F for? You don't even know them. So you got a hater, but that's a lie. The truth, an internet stalker is stalking you, but they don't understand their own obsession. And that's the truth. So if somebody's stalking you, they don't understand because they don't have a sense of reality. They're in a cognitive dissonance in this with their obsession with stalking you. Um, you say that they're a hater, but the reality is they need help and they need to heal and they need to rest and... So that's what they need to do. But understand that stalking behavior is not tolerated in an orderly law-abiding society. So it will will result in you going and getting incarcerated and going to prison or going to jail and getting locked up or going to some kind of asylum or some kind of mental institution because you need help. And if you refuse to address that or if that person's not addressing or they're not seeing it, then that's what eventually is going to end up happening if there's no intervention by people who... Surround them, that love them, and that care for them. And that want to ensure that they don't throw their white life away for, I don't know what reason, uh, stalkers would have to stalk somebody. I don't think that people's lives are that in interesting. Um, or that variant. Um, it's pretty much a checklist of goals that people have. And so to stalk somebody, I mean, hey, to each his own. Okay. So, I'm going to do the spirit animals. Okay, because I'm all in y'all earth energy. I got Off the Wall by Michael Jackson. So, yeah, that's Off the Wall. And see, I thought he was a Leo, but he's a Virgo. He could be a Leo, Virgo, Cusper. Um, I definitely get both of those vibes from him. Because um, he's definitely, definitely showy, showy, showy. So, I definitely was like, oh, I could definitely see the Lego. The, I mean, the Lego, the ego, the Leo. Um, Beyonce had a song, Ego. So all these songs I'm mentioning, if you want to listen to them, definitely, okay? Um, but after looking at his birthday, it was Virgo. So we have the soul space, the mind space, the 3D space, or the physical body space in the overall, okay? Soul space, we have Moose, Wisdom. Let your head and mind reach to the stars. Yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. Okay, so your head and mind reach to the stars. That's going to sound like uh, head, air energy, and mind energy reach to the stars, Aquarius energy. If you didn't want to have that in your chart, it also talks about healing. Yet keep your feet grounded, yet keep yourself grounded in your own energy and who you are on the earth, okay? And listen, that's how you are able to open yourself up to listen and to hear because they speak in, the ancestors are speaking through you. Beautiful. We have, oh, did I show you? I'm sorry. We have for the mental space, tiger, fire. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold, I am brave, mighty forces come to my aid, okay? So tiger, fire energy, kind of like that's that Leo energy, bold, brave, but be careful, don't be egotistical. If we're talking about, I'm not sure who's stalking or who's doing what or what the situation is, but that pride and ego is a seven daily sin. It will send you straight on a one-way ticket, okay? You want to make sure you're secured in this. There is a thin line between... Um, and I explain that Leo energy because it's a fixed sign. When you get something fixed in your mind about certain things, it's a surefire way that you could just run ramrod straight to nowhere. It gets you nowhere because you're in pride and ego and you're not in uh, practicality, reliability, like this queen of pentacles. You're not grounding yourself. How is it realistically, practically going to work? All the lessons that you learn in life you just ramrodding into something, being bold and brave and thinking that this energy is going to work for you, pushing fire energy. The universe has here earth energy. That fire energy it has is like a temperance energy, it looks like, in this card. So balance and harmony and being happiness. You have to be happy and one with yourself first before you can find that in something or someone else, okay? You have to love yourself first, okay? Frog, prosperity. 
let go of the past and embrace change opportunities are close at hand hop into this new day with joy abundance and good fortune await you okay so that's that eight of pentacles um energy earth energy we also have earth and water embodied together um so great energy talks about transformation so it could be scorpio energy uh we also uh you could also consider it um uh pisces energy even though we're talking about frogs they are water um individuals um and very intuitive frogs are very intuitive like sometimes they'll even go silent go still and that's the type of Pisces energy where it's like they're using their intuition to kind of veer out and read the air, read what's around them, read their surroundings, okay? I think they have like some innate abilities there. So maybe you can embody that and use that to get back to self because you need to ground yourself and call in your prosperity, okay? And overall, Goose Inner Knowing, you are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. More of that air energy, flying energy, okay? So, yes. Some of you guys are on the move. You know where you're headed, but it sounds great. Don't worry about them haters, okay? So, next, we're going to clarify this with my... I'm going to do the Orisha. With the Orisha deck. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, I'll show you Orisha. Okay. And that's Shango in the front, which was, he represents justice, Libra energy. He might be in Libra season, but I don't think so. I don't know. But either way, this is for you, Virgo, and I'm all in your energy because you saw it. It was confirmed on the cards. Okay. Like Hermit, King, Queen of Pentacles. What are we talking about? Okay. All right. So three is the clarifiers for this will be for the spirit animals and the truth and the lie. So, so that's three. My. Oops. That's three. 3D is three. And overall, okay. So in the soul space, we have two of air, Libra energy, three, two of water, cancer energy, and message from the earth. So you guys are getting a message that um, there are partnerships. This is about partnerships and relationships. The, the, you may be trying to consider what type of relationship or partnership you want and with who we have air energy here so one could be a libra that's coming up in your soul space but you're not able to see them because there's another one here that's cancer energy and you can have that one also in your soul space so it's definitely ne necessary for you to clear yourself clear your energy and get grounded because look at the message from the earth you are drying up your abundance look at that the things you're planting, you're not reaping any harvest. This is a, a dwarf. And if you know anything, or a gnome, and if you know anything about them, like, they're really good at storing, harvesting. If you think about it coming up for the winter, you don't have anything to um, get you through the winter time. So when that winter comes through, he probably going to, you know, you, you're suffering. Your soul wise is suffering. Your soul abundance is suffering here. So the earth is trying to send you a message. It's time to get realistic and grounded because you're so focused on these things. They're actually coming before your own energy. Whereas the under overlying energy, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's the feminines because the masculines came before 